Okay, good morning guys, it's the, uh, the Riverwide Pears. Um, we've had the first frost today, it's gone quite cold outside, so it'll be interesting. We've got a, uh, there's an A section and B section, that's above the bridge and below the bridge, the railway bridge. Um, it's a sellout. Uh, last year, uh, we, we just missed out on the main prizes. We were seventh last year, so uh, um, I've done okay individually. Well, just all start to arrive now, so uh, just wait for the draw now. Let's see where we are. Okay, guys, um, welcome to the uh, River Wide Pairs. Uh, you, I think you all know the format and what's going on, but basically the match is split into A and B section. A is above everything above the green bridge, including the railings. B is below the bridge, down onto the tennis courts as well. Um, you have to decide which section you're in before you draw. Okay, so there's two individual draws. A section is there, B section is there. Okay, so that's got to be decided. The draw will be recorded, uh, so there's no there's no mix-ups or anything like that. Spud's got an optional going on, uh, 20 quid. For that. That's for both days, that covers both days. Uh, obviously that's got to be done before the draw. Um, we'll fish quarter past 10 to quarter past three. Uh, scales as normal, they're marked on the tickets. If you draw scales and board, take the scales and the board. If you draw assist, just make sure you're helping out at the end and it's only six peg section. So if everybody gets involved, you'll have it done in no time. Get the boards back as soon as you can. Jeff's going to be doing the results. We want to enjoy our weekend as well, so just get them back as quick as you can. Um, parking, you can park in here today if you draw down this end. There's no Colts match on or anything like that. Um, so we're all good for that. Uh, the bar's open after. Come back, support the club, have a beer, enjoy it. Any questions? Draw the same time tomorrow? Yeah, same time draw tomorrow. We'll, draw, we'll try and get drawn quarter to eight tomorrow, give everyone plenty of time. Um, obviously the festival's running on weight, just so anyone knows, it's over, so section points don't come into it, it's on a, a aggregate weight. Um, paying six peg, six peg sections and top two in each zone each day. And then top six. All payouts will be after the match tomorrow, back here. Okay? Right, so make sure you go into the right draw queue. A section. Okay, well we've drawn. Um, my partner Clive Roberts, he's got a, quite a bad one, really. A8. Um, peg eight up the top, a bit of a long walk, and i am got one of the shortest walks, 55, but not one of the best pegs in the section for a big weight. Um, there's a lot of fish top in there, a lot of bleak, but I don't really particularly want to go for bleak today. <laughs> I want to try and catch some fish if I can. So I'll have a go anyway. Um, I'll um, see you down on the peg, uh, peg 55, and I'm on a platform, which is good. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, that's... Uh, I can see where the sun, the sun's right in my eyes here. <laughs> um, I got my sunglasses, uh, but my op um, <laughs> the ones are from Specsavers, um, uh, designer ones, and brought with me today, so I must have left them in the house. Anyway, um, as I said, I'm on peg 55. Um, it's two below the bridge, uh, the railway bridge. Um, I'm about two pegs up from where I had that weight, 52 pound, um, the week before, which I managed to win this zone. But um, different kettle of fish today, because the water's dropped a bit clearer. It's not the best pegs. The best pegs are those three or four pegs below me, because they're slightly shallower. Um, but you never know. I mean, you know, fishing's fishing, isn't it? You know, they could turn up anywhere. Um, I got some good company as well again in my uh, section. I got Doug for sure above me. Um, poor bugger, he fell over earlier. <laughs> I thought he was going to do the match then for a minute. Um, I, got a young, I, I got a chap below me. Yeah, just told me he just travelled 200 miles to get you. So, you know, he's come a long way. Because I've just set up seven whip rigs. And I said, oh, I haven't got to use them. Oh no, I got girls. Hey. They're all turning around in my peg, look. <laughs> Hope they don't make a habit of that. 
<laughs> anyway, um, so what I'm doing now, I'm actually setting up a couple of bollies. I'm going to have two bollies on the inside, one sort of outside, you know, in the middle. Then I got two polder hands as well. I've also got a feeder set up, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't get too confused. Anyway, um, no further to do. I'll carry on setting it up because I've only just got here and just, you know, got my... Uh, some of my gear out, so I've still got a mixed ground bait and everything else yet, but we've got a, an hour to go, so it's plenty of time. Um, hopefully it's going to be a nice sunny dry day today, So, and I'm on a platform, so I'm not in the mud, thank God. <laughs> right, okay, um, see you in a bit then, see you at the start of the match. Okay, the match is about to start. <clears throat> I've only just <laughs> managed to um, time it, so we'll see how it goes now. <laughs> Right, I don't know if you can see, see that, what's going on. Okay, I'm just <coughs> setting this up so you can see it a bit better. Right, let's hope you can see that.
Okay, you might have caught the last 10 minutes then, but uh, basically I haven't had a chance to stop, um, to record too much. Um, I, I sort of placed the recorder uh, early on in the match and then um, I didn't position it, so I'm hoping this caught, so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so basically um, set all these rigs up and uh, I had a, one or two on the bolly to begin with and then I just felt they wanted to held back and um, so what I done I went on the overshotted pole float and uh, held it back against the current and then I was getting a bite of truck then a lot of small ones like you know but what can you do I mean sometimes the bigger ones are moving um, I've had a couple of perch three or four perch which I've netted after net um, but generally a lot of small days uh, I don't know what that's going to do in this section hopefully fingers crossed we'll We'll see. Um, I know the fish were bigger, sort of down, you know, a few pegs further down when I had that 50 odd pound. So, um, but there we are. I uh, had a good um, good day, you know, catching lots and lots of days. Uh, I don't know what I make the clives done on, um, at the top. I'll give them a call now and then find out. So, uh, it is a pairs match after all, you know, and it's a top weight. As I mentioned earlier last year, um, I was lucky enough, I, I got in uh, twice, you know, with the the main money but um and we just missed out um on the on the the, uh, the team i think we were the first one out but there we are uh but there's a lot of good teams here see a lot of good pairings you know so it's going to be very difficult um you know to win or even get um place but there we are enjoy it that's the main thing okay um I'll hopefully i'll do the i'll watch the weigh-in in a minute and see what uh, everyone's got and um, let you know okay see you in a bit There's Dougie, he was coming down that way, swim with his float. I, I, I was getting that guy, you kept going like that, he said, like, you know, with the float, you know, with the head so ordinary. Like. Alright. It's not a nice place. Oh, it's not a nice place. It's not a nice place, isn't it? Yeah. He's fallen over already, already today, Doug. Um, not in the water, like that. Yeah, he slipped on the yeah. Yeah. platform. You've yeah. got to be catching some quality. Catching yeah, some I had a few, yeah. Did you bleak it? <laughs> they're bloody small, aren't they? Dear liar, the blast bleak that is. Hang on, there's one in there. See it? Oh no, it's not. That's, that's the end of his that's, thing. That's a pretty fast stick. Right, he's, he's got it. You got it? 15 pound two. Oh, okay, there you go then. So I won the section, I won the bank again. £49, no, not quite 50 but um, I, say, I, I was saying that I probably caught more fish today than I did when I had the 52, but they were smaller. I had a couple of perch to make up for it, but uh, not, you know, only three or four, uh, two netters and two swingers like, but. Um, yeah, right, so I've enjoyed it anyway. So, unfortunately, my mate hasn't done too well, Clive. He's only got two ounces <laughs> at the top. But, um, yeah, so it's always tomorrow. And, of course, I'm up there tomorrow. I could be anywhere, you know, above the bridge. I hope I'm not too far up. Okay, right. Um, there's no presentation tonight. It's all done tomorrow. So, um, as I say, thanks for watching. And uh, I might add this to tomorrow or I might make a separate one. Okay. Thank you.